Hey everybody, it's Helconi here. Today I wanted to share with you an incredible new tool that I found for generating 3D assets from images. Trellis, Structured 3D Latence for Scalable and Versatile 3D Generation. Who cares about all that stuff? The cool stuff is down here. What this does is it takes text or images and it turns it into a 3D asset for a game you're making. So in this case, it said uh, vintage copper rotary telephone with intricate detailing. And you can click on the model here and take a look at all the detail that's going on here. And, and this is simply incredible. If you've done any kind of AI art generation, you know that results can be pretty inconsistent, but this looks pretty good. Uh, except maybe the cord looks a little goofy here. There's some irregular geometry. I'd say from a distance, this looks fantastic. And not only that, you can also generate 3D assets from images. So if you're an artist or you have some kind of AI art generation skills, you can put in an image into this process and you'll get one out. Like this is a really good looking castle. I think I'd be very happy if I were making a... Uh, a 4x kind of game or a civilization style game and I use that as my my art asset in my game I would be incredibly happy with something like this and not only that also with this tool you can edit the existing copies that you've made and you can specify different variants of them that's really useful for game development when you think about it you could have some kind of object that gets power-ups or you could have some kind of bullet that has special properties something along those lines and you can see the work here. It looks looks too good to be true, basically. Like, this is too good to be true. Getting all this stuff automatically, not having to pay a 3D artist hundreds of dollars to make these kinds of details. And not only that, they claim that with the model, you can make small variations to uh, base models that you have. So not only are you changing the uh, colors and materials of it, you also change the geometry of it and, and get these in different modes. Like, uh, the mech example here is really good, you know add different stuff onto it. This would be really fun for like a, a looter shooter kind of thing. You got some kind of vampire survivors game. You're shooting out, bang, bang, got new weapons, upgrade them and all that. So here I am inside of Dolly and I've provided an image prompt, 3D game asset, small cute chicken, stylized, yellow, deep red. Let's see if we can get something interesting from here. And I'd say that looks pretty good. I would be pretty happy with something like this as a game asset. I think the the eyes look a little too seductive for me, but I think this is a plenty good example to work with. So here I am with the chicken inside of the trellis demo. For right now, all that's available to us is the image to 3D model. They are still adding the uh, text to 3D model and the image variant functionality, and they'll be working on that over time. So let's see what generation settings we have here. We have seed, guidance, strength. We'll just keep all these on the default. They're probably recommended. We'll hit generate. Oh, wow, that is incredible. That is flawless. That is flawless. I, I really don't see anything wrong with this. This just looks incredible. I would be extremely happy with this if I was a game developer. And if you wanted to download this model, all you would have to do is scroll down, hit the extract GLB button, and all that's going to do is simplify some of the geometry and put the texture into a file. And after that's done, you'll be able to hit the download GLB button and use it inside of your games. And here you can see the 3D preview. It looks really, really good. I'm really happy with this. If you're interested in more coding and AI art generation content, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.